Hi friends. I am back at school in the Dramatic Play Center, missing all my treehouse friends. Today I wanted to offer you an option to do today. One thing I think we've talked about before. If you find yourself feeling upset or frustrated or sad, there's something you can do. Do you remember when I was telling you about when I was waiting for the bus and I was frustrated because I missed the bus? Do you remember what I did? It's okay, I'll remind you. I looked for five things I could see and then I looked for four things I could hear and then I looked for three things I could feel, even if it's just the wind on your face or maybe the socks in your shoes or maybe even something on your face like glasses or maybe your hair is tickling your face like I'm sitting here with my mask on. Or maybe just feeling how comfortable the thing you're sitting on is. And then think of two things that you can smell. And one thing that you can taste. Like right now, I taste the juice I drank this morning, orange juice, still. And sometimes it's okay just to taste the roof of your mouth. But still, focusing on these things can help slow things down and make you see things from a different perspective. Speaking of a different perspective, I thought we'd take a break from things and read a book. Madeline. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines, they broke their bread. And brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. Sometimes they are very sad. I wonder what's making them sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines. In rain or shine. It's nice to go on walks. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow, and ice, and just to be alive. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, poo poo. And she's trying to tell him, you don't scare me. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, something is not right. Little Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried. Her eyes were red. Soon after Dr. Cohn came, he rushed out to the phone and he dialed Danton 106. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix for Madeline. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. It's nice. Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed, there was a crank. See right here? Crank it up and crank it back down. And a crack on the ceiling had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. I feel like it looks like a rabbit. See, it's a bunny. I think I got there. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, isn't this a fine day to visit Madeline? Tiptoeing with solemn face, 
with some flowers and a vase. Solemn is another word for sad. They walked and then said, ah, when they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. A lot of nice things. But the biggest surprise by far on her stomach was a scar. And then he took out the appendix. Goodbye, they said. We'll come again soon. And the little girls left in the rain. They went home and broke their bread, brushed their teeth, and went to bed. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, something is not right. Afraid of disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast and faster, and she said, please children, do tell me what's troubling you. And all the girls cried, boo hoo, we want our appendix out too. I don't think they really need their appendix out. I think they just want the toys and candy that Madeline got. Good night, little girls. Sounds like Miss Clavel thinks so too. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned out the light and closed the door. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. Thank you so much for listening, friends. And I hope you find some things throughout your day that are fun or exciting or interesting. And you tell me all about them when we come back to school.